All right, guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I have some PlayStation 5 accessories in front of me, and I posted a picture of this earlier, and a lot of you guys were asking if I was going to do some type of unboxing. So I figured, why not? I wasn't expecting to actually receive these yet. And another question I've been getting is, did I get a PlayStation 5? And unfortunately, no, I did not receive an early PlayStation 5. Would have been great, but I am still waiting patiently with everybody else. However, I am pretty surprised to be receiving these accessories already. These were ordered directly from the PlayStation website. And we did talk about how Sony was planning on sending some accessories, if not all of the accessories ordered from their website out early. I thought I would receive them at the earliest on the 30th, but here we are. Another question is where is the headset? Where is the new Pulse headset? I was not able to secure one through PlayStation's website directly. I actually was able to secure one through Amazon. So maybe that will be unboxed alongside the PS5. So obviously there is no face reveal today. I know that's what a lot of people are waiting for as well. I'm not going to promise anything, but if we are going to do a face reveal, it will probably happen when we actually unbox the PlayStation 5 itself. So today I'm just going to unbox some of these accessories, show them to you, and uh, yeah, just kind of let you know what I think about it. Obviously you see the DualSense controllers at the bottom. Um, Yes, I did get two, and so I'm going to have about three total, and it's because I'm going to play Demon Souls, and I'm probably going to destroy at least two in the process, so I had to make sure to have at least, you know, uh, two extras. I'm kidding, obviously, I bought extra dual senses for any couch co-op games, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it here. So I did take off all the circle stickers, and I do want to apologize in advance if I'm absolutely terrible at this because I don't normally do unboxings. This is probably the first proper unboxing on my channel and I just ripped the box so that's great but at least it's just for the media remote. So I'll just throw that back there and I am actually recording this in my basement. I'm having it redone. I have like a temporary setup here. Maybe I'll show you guys when uh whenever I do the proper PS5 console unboxing. And so, okay, this is wrapped pretty nice. I don't know where the seam is here. I'm thinking I'll just rip it. There we go. That works. All right, so this is the media remote and it has the Netflix button, YouTube. I like the YouTube button. That's gonna be useful. And Spotify as well, Disney Plus. Feels pretty good in the hand. Um, got the PlayStation button at the bottom there. And they have the instructions, obviously. There are Sony batteries in here as well, so they do provide you with batteries. So that's cool. I'll, uh, I'll have to test it out, obviously, when I get the PS5. That's the, that's the big thing here, I'd say, with all of this, is the fact that I still don't have the console, and I'm going to have to wait for that. So there you go. There is the media remote. I hope I have enough room on this uh, desk here because it's, it's not even a desk. It's just a little like table stand. All right. So we have the media remote. Guarantee I'm probably going to drop at least one of these accessories on the floor. So here's the uh, charging station. This thing's actually pretty heavy and uh, yeah, definitely something I wanted to make sure to have. Uh, at least we don't have to worry about AA batteries, right? Okay, so I took the circle stickers off, but I didn't take these stickers off for some reason. Not sure why I would do that. But you know, it's like a one take kind of thing. So, and I ripped the box. All right, I ripped the top of it, so it's not a big deal. I say that as if I plan on keeping these boxes. I don't know if I plan on keeping these or not. I mean, maybe I will. I feel like I'm going to. So let's see here, shake that out. Okay, got the instructions here is the uh, adapter and the cable so it does need to be plugged in you may or may not see my cat on camera at some point here uh, my cat boss he's next to me so here here's the adapter I don't really think I need to unpackage that you already you guys know 
what that is. It needs to be plugged in. So toss them over there. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the actual. I don't know how like to. Okay. Oh, so I didn't need to rip it. They just open at the top like that. <laughs> I should have known that, but uh, wow. Okay, I I saw somebody leave a comment earlier when I posted a picture. They say they like how the uh, the charging stand looks like a mini PS5, and it it really does. Like from the back, it straight up looks like a mini PS5. I wonder if they. I'm assuming they did that purposely, but yeah, here it is. Here's the charging station. Um, I like it. Looks good. Matches the PS5, obviously, but it has some weight to it. That's what I know. It definitely has some weight to it. It's not really light. I think that's a good thing, a sign of a premium product. So there is the charge uh, station. So let me... Yeah, maybe it wasn't the best idea to, to use this small table, but it was kind of the best thing I could find um, just really quickly. So bear with me here. So we have the media remote, we have the charge station. It's crazy to think I'm not gonna be able to use any of this. But, uh, all right, now we have the camera. And so I bought this because, you know, I'm assuming I'm gonna need it for the next iteration of PSVR, but also because maybe when we do some streams on the PS5, if I could get this sticker, I really should have got these stickers beforehand. But when I do some streams, I start streaming some PS5 games like Spider-Man, Demon Souls, maybe even Bug Snacks. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do a face cam. I don't know about that, but either way, I felt like I needed this. So get that out. Okay. Um, all right. So this definitely looks a little bit different. Let's see what's in here. Wait, that's it? That's the camera? I don't know why I had it in my head that this was gonna be way bigger. Like, I thought it was gonna be like, wow, like twice or even triple the size. That's crazy. Why did I, why did I think that? Am I the only one who thought that? This thing is really small. Like, I was expecting it to be way bigger. That's crazy. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this, uh, there's a little, plastic on there. I'm going to keep it on there. I'll take that off when I get the PS5, but uh, it's USB. So uh, so I'm assuming I could use this on my PC as well if I wanted. Uh, it's got the little PlayStation symbols at the top here, if you can see that. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. So it's, it's light too. It's not like, you know, as light as a feather, but it's pretty light. But yeah, I have to say, I'm pretty surprised at how small it actually is. I was expecting it to be bigger for some reason so let me uh get rid of that i don't think there's anything else in here it's like some kind of compartment okay yeah there's there's nothing else in here so that's that just toss that to the side got the instructions here uh i might need those uh, maybe so i'll toss that over there so we got the camera the charge station and the media remote so all that's left are the dual shocks now um, i'm not going to unbox both that just seems extremely unnecessary and redundant but this is the one i wanted to save for last because i'll be able to let you guys know right here right now how it feels in the hand i'm obviously not going to be able to experience any of the features it has to offer unfortunately i as i keep saying i gotta wait for the ps5 for that but let's um yeah let's Let's check it out. This is uh, what I'm excited for. So, really interested to see how the Dual Sense is going to feel. This is going to be the first time I've ever uh, held one, obviously. So, haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, built-in microphone, signature comfort. That's that's what I'll be able to let you know today. How comfortable is this controller? Here we go, guys. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm not going to lie, because um, you know it's it's so different from the Dual Shock. And I actually do have my DualShock behind me, so I could probably do like a, a comparison briefly as well. I don't want this video to turn out too long. I also don't want to drop anything. So this is really in there. Okay, here it is. Here, oh man, that feels nice. Even just holding it within the <laughs> wrapping still. So let's, uh, let's wrap it. Oh man, okay. 
this is this is genuinely exciting right now i mean don't get me wrong these other accessories were exciting but this is uh this is really in there actually <laughs> okay here it is oh, i can smell it i can smell it wow 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 okay this is the dual sense it feels um it feels amazing it feels absolutely amazing in the hand i have to tell you guys um, when it comes to overall feel, you know what? Let me, uh, let me put this down real quick. Let me get, I got the dual shock right behind me. Let me bring this in. Okay. So here's the dual shock and yes, it's a white one. So it works. Okay. I just want to do a quick comparison here. This feels amazing. Like the dual shock four already feels amazing in the hand, but Wow, I gotta say, this is, uh, oh man, those thumb, the thumbsticks, that grip, that's everything, that is everything. They feel a thousand times better than the DualShock 4 thumb grips. They really do. And you know what? It feels like it, you have more, um, it feels like it's not as low either. Like, I don't know if you, they seem like they're the same, but I think they're a little bit higher up. If you can see, if I can get that on camera, but wow. Yeah. It, and when it comes to the weight, it's only, it's a little bit heavier than the dual shock four for sure. It's a little bit, but not by that much. Like it looks like it should be heavier. Like it looks like it would feel heavier in the hand, but oh, it, it feels amazing guys. And the triggers, the triggers definitely feel way better like I don't know how to explain it but they they feel better they just they do everything feels better and the the bumpers feel amazing they feel 10 times better than these or the uh, L1 and R1 I just call them bumpers like it's a an Xbox controller and that's the thing like everybody was comparing the uh the dual sense design to the Xbox controller I don't have my Xbox controller on hand Maybe I should have brought that down, but, uh, oh, guys, it, oh, it turned on. Okay, I guess it's trying to pair. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. I don't think you can currently use it with the PS4, but, um, see if I can get it close enough to the camera, the actual, let me see. Yeah, you can see the symbols there if you zoom in close enough. You can't really feel it, though. Like, that's, like, they're not, like, sticking out or anything. But grip-wise, it feels amazing. The uh, the face buttons. Let me see. I feel like the face buttons are less clicky. Like they're not as they're not as loose, which is good, I think. So, yeah, guys. Overall, I am really, really liking the Dual Sense. Um, it feels perfect. It really does. I, I love it. it. It's I've always loved the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One controllers. I've obviously always enjoyed the DualShock. The one thing, though, I gotta tell you about the, the DualShock. I think my my cat is like having a sneeze attack behind me. If you guys can hear that, that's weird and unexpected. But the one thing about the DualShock that I've I I could never stand were the uh, not the the thumbsticks themselves but the the grips like i just they never felt that grippy like they always felt slippery with this it feels like the exact opposite it really does it, it just feels so much better the playstation button in the, in the center here feels good uh the speaker is right there obviously the the touchpad feels good yeah guys i cannot wait i, I really cannot wait until i can actually play a game with the dual sense but let me uh let me just get it set up here so you can see all the accessories minus the headset unfortunately as i told you guys don't have that yet but here are all of the accessories I'm trying to I'm trying to get a good shot here before i end it but uh there you go yeah um wasn't expecting to be doing this today but uh you know they arrived at my doorstep i i would have you know done an unboxing of the actual boxes themselves but i had no idea that that's what was actually coming in the mail today they were just uh there so 
yeah very exciting guys um at this point it's just feeling kind of like a giant tease i'm just gonna have to be patient and wait for the console but yeah if you guys do end up receiving your accessories early let me know i don't know if anybody who watches this today if you actually did receive yours in the mail let me know down in the comments below and just let me know what you think about this type of video i think this is again the first unboxing i've actually done so I hope you did enjoy it. Leave it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the bell notification icon. Feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.